giant jabber of rope onto his bottom jaw. <laughs> Too close, too close. Watch it, Steve. The water's draining out pretty quickly. He's nearly got a complete purchase with all four feet. Right, if only I could get those jaws together. I use sticks because he can bite down and chew it and it won't hurt his teeth. Steve's got a good team from Australia Zoo backing him up who know without saying a word exactly what needs to be done. For many years, Steve's been catching crocodiles on his own, but now he's got help and he's using every bit of it. Stick. Someone take a bit of weight on that. Something like Stick a bit of weight on that, don't I? Okay. You know what, um, what we've got that we can cushion this with? Pull him up tight and then I'll, um, if you guys can hold him, I'll try to lash him. How about that canvas bag? If you have him up tight enough, I think you can do it. Pull his this is so frustrating for Steve. He feels a real sense of urgency because crocodiles tire and stress more quickly than other animals. He's got to hurry and get this croc out and into his new pond as fast as possible. Okay. He's going off. I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna go in. We can't hold him. I'm going in. Have a look at the size of that head. 3,000 pounds per square inch. One mistake and I'm just a big patch of ooze. Give me a bit of rope. Keep it up. It's tight. Real tight. This is the most dangerous part of the whole operation. In such close proximity, Steve's just giving it all to protect his crocodile. If he rolls, Steve's had it. He's got to go. Ooh, that's got to hurt. He nearly snapped the arm. He's breaking me up. There's nothing Steve can do now. He's got to hang on. He's got to hope for his backup. Here comes Wes. Hang on, guys. Next, Anthony checks out his new home. Ooh.